guys welcome back to another video today is going to be another uncut video so all i will do is pause as i'm filming the actual video is not going to be edited at all so i've decided to do a little bit of almost i guess kind of like a pride kind of theme and i'm wanting to try use these decals now this may not work because i'm just using regular nail varnish and as we all know, you have to use a sticky layer to get it on. But I'm just going to be painting over my natural... Well, this is acrylic overlay on my natural nails. I'm just going to paint these with regular nail varnish. I've got a few, like, bits around me to try. But I don't know if it's going to work. So the decals may not work. But what I'm thinking is, if I, pop, if I place it on while the nail varnish is wet... It might work. If not, I could maybe try gluing it on afterwards. But I want to give it a try and see if it works. And then you guys will also know whether it's going to work or not. So I haven't got a set out plan. I was thinking if I do maybe... If I just use that to, and then put the decals over that and then just do something with these ones on the other nails. So I don't really know what I'm doing. I don't have an, a, a total agenda, but... Let's just see what happens. So I like all these colours on here. So we've got yellow, pink, green, blue, purple. I'm thinking maybe like just try and doing it like a splodgy kind of effect. So I've just taken the lids off just to make life a bit easier for myself. So yeah, these videos can just go terribly, terribly, horribly wrong. Because there's no editing. So if it goes wrong, then no so i'm thinking yeah i feel like i just want to do it like splodgy almost maybe like a paint like splashes of paint and i'm thinking i'm probably going to try and use most of the colors these two are probably quite similar so maybe if we get rid of that and might not use that one let's see let's go in with a bit of this orange first i am very sorry if this is like any of this is not really in shot Now, you should by now have seen my marble video that I did. So we know how to do that and it's completely not by doing what I'm doing. Oh, oh, that was way too big. It's completely different to what I'm doing right now. So this, yeah, this might not work. <laughs> but I'm giving it a bash. This is how I would normally marble, I guess, so it's probably not going to work. The issue is, nail varnish, obviously, as I'm sure you guys all already know, it just dries a heck of a lot quicker than regular nail varnish, uh, than gel polish. Actually, that's kind of worked. Because I'm not trying to get a marble effect. Because I did marble last time. That's not that's not the plan right now. I'm basic. Oh, careful! I'm basically just trying to get like an effect of the colours. Because I haven't used this one yet. Let's just blob a bit of this one on. I'm really sorry if we're not in focus as well. By the way, let's put that there. Oh, that's quite fun. Quite cute. Sorry, I'm trying to not come out of the um the lights like here. So if I bring it too close to the camera, it's away from the light. But I will get you a proper closer player on. I'm quite happy with that. So then I'm thinking for this one, if we just use like this whitey colour and put a rose on it. Or I could lit mm. Yeah, maybe I won't put a rose on the thumb. Maybe I'll just use one rose on this nail somewhere. I quite like that effect. I'm so excited about trying to get more fun effects using nail varnish. And I feel like it's not done as often on YouTube as well, so. Right, so next nail. So with this one, I'm going to go a bit more with the greens, I think. Try to stay in shot for you guys. I'm so sorry if I'm not. This one, so... I do, it's not helping that all the colours are right over here. I 
Okay, here we go. Here we go. It might actually be easier to just do a couple of colours at once. Oh my god, what's just happened to that? Flipping heck. I ain't got time for that. So maybe if I just did... Oh no, it kind of worked, to be fair, the way I did it before, didn't it? I'm not going to worry too much about making... about getting it really neat, because I can neaten up. later on if I need to. It's giving me just that little bit of leeway to just move things about just slightly which is all we need the only thing I would say is because this is nail varnish you really don't want to work too thick because it's going to be difficult to dry it anyway so that one seems to have a lot of blue and not as much orange, but then this one's got a lot of orange, so that kind of works. Oops, leave it as it is. You do just need to wipe this because it will just dry on your brush. This will come off easily with a nail varnish remover, but yeah, just to be aware of that. Oh, puppy, what's the matter? Right, so I'm now gonna use the red one, the red one first. I'll use a little bit of blue this time, not too much blue. You see, I'm putting it on quite thick and I'm just worried that it's not gonna dry properly. But if I don't... Then they won't, they won't, I won't be able to move them about at all. That one's hardly got any orange on as well. This is such a funky like effect. I've never had this effect on my nails before. I like it. I'm gonna use a little bit more orange. Oh, sorry if I'm not in shot. Yeah, that's better. And then I think I'm going to do the thumb the same and I'm just going to have one with a rose on. I really like, I really, really like this effect. I almost like this more than marble. It's very similar to marble. That's probably why I like it so much. Because I do love a good marbling effect. Yay, I'm so excited. Oh, we're already on 10 minutes nearly, so I need to be quick. Right, Um, let's go with purple first this time. Guys, 
because it's all going wrong. I don't have time for this because you've got to work so fast that I don't have time for like accidents to be happening. And green. And it's all gone into my cuticle, like really badly here. But like I said, I'm not too worried about that because I will clean that up later on. So let's focus on All you're kind of doing is you're kind of just splodging the, the edges together of each colour, if that makes sense. So you're just kind of blending the colours together just a little bit. See, it has all kind of... Oh. I really like this effect, it's well funky. What do we think guys? Kind of like a painty paint slab effect. Right, so I'm gonna cut one of these out. I haven't really used this one. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is decide which rows I want and I'm gonna cut it out, but I'm just gonna pause you guys because you don't wanna be bored waiting for me to do that. Okay, so I've literally just cut a tiny little wee 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 one out. And I'm thinking, I don't know if it's going to need a couple of coats of this. Yeah, probably. So what I'm going to do is just do this one coat for now. Then I'm going to pop it under my lamp and just try let it dry for a little bit. Just because I find they do they do dry quicker if you put them in the lamp. Right, I'm going to try to do another cut. Yeah, I'm sorry if we're not in shot. Okay, I don't know if this is going to work, guys. This could be a disaster. This could be a disaster. So I do need to make sure that it's perfectly dry. So I'm thinking I should probably have taken this off. Ah! Oh my god, I just dropped it. I'm thinking I probably should have taken this off before I put the coat on my nail. But then I think I do probably want to wait for it to be slightly dry. Okay, let's just try it and see if it works. I'm gonna put it about there. Oh, poo. This is the only problem. The other thing is, I can't do what I would normally do. If you guys have ever seen me do this on um over gel polish, I would normally melt the acetone in. Um, so I mean, you just can totally tell that something's just been stuck on there. Hmm, I'm just wondering what I can do. To make it look better. Let's just have a play about. Ah. 
I hope I'm in shot here, guys. I'm really sorry if I'm not. I'm just like painting around it. That has actually made it look a little bit better. But it's still pretty like crinkly. The cue, I love this effect though. I'm not too keen on this nail, it looks a little bit strange. Um, it does look a little bit on the strange side. I don't think it's gonna be a no, you can't, you can't use decals. A nail varnish, I think it's just gonna be we're just going to have to figure out the best way to do it. That's all. And this is definitely not the best way to do it. Right, so I'm gonna do a top coat. I actually need to go fish it out because I don't know where it is. I'm just wondering whether I should just... I think I'm gonna, you know. Green, red, blue. I'm just going to play about now. I'm probably going to totally ruin these now. It's just difficult because I can't like my nails are wet so I'm like trying not to do anything else I'm trying not to touch them too much Don't ruin my nails, please. Oh, why aren't I used green? Let's get a bit of green. Everyone at home is going to be like, this woman is crazy. What is this, what is this woman doing with her life? Actually, that's kind of funky now. I like that. I just, the only thing is you can't really tell that it was supposed to be a rose, but it doesn't matter. It's, I like to have a nail that's different to the other nails and we have, and it matches. It's like, it's still, it works. So I'm going to leave that to dry for a little bit and then we need to do a top coat. So I'm going to go in with this. This is the gel shine lasting finish. It's just a nail varnish top coat and it's supposed to give it like a gel shine. I have just sprayed this on it and I'm not sure whether I've made a mistake by doing that. I use this all the time, but I haven't used it for such a long time because obviously I don't actually use, well, up until recently, I don't use nail varnish anymore. So I haven't used this for ages and I can't remember whether you're supposed to just use it on the last layer of nail varnish or whether you can use it in between. So I'm just hoping it's not going to affect like this top layer now but anyways let's go in and just finish off with a top coat oh there's hairs everywhere there's always flipping hairs everywhere <sighs>
need to get rid of these animals. Hmm, <laughs> never going to happen. So let's tap quote. It's going a bit, oh my God, it's streaking it. That went a bit streaky, that sugar. Might have to make sure I've got loads of nail varnish on. He's going to run into my cuticle, though. I'm definitely thinking I shouldn't have spread that stuff on until I was on my last coat, but never mind. So I'm going to let these dry for a few minutes. So this is the finished result. They're not quite dry and obviously I'm going to have to um, sit and let them dry. But this is what we've got. This is what we've ended up with. I actually really like these. Oh, they're actually really cute. And I actually really like this one now as well. I didn't at first. I was like, nah, this isn't happening. But actually, I really like it now. I think it goes with the kind of rainbow-esque pride type theme. But just a little bit different to just like rainbow nails. So I hope you enjoyed this video, you guys. Please give me a thumbs up. Let me know if you want to see more of these kinds of videos. I should be having lots more videos coming up and more vlogging too. So thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so, so much. I hope you did enjoy this video and I will see you in the next one. Mwah, bye.